All right. Hey, first and foremost, giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles, the great millstone of whom I learn from daily, and a healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. <clears throat> Please forgive me. I just woke up. It's pretty early in the morning, but hey, man, you know, had a bit of a vision. About the things that are coming upon this earth, man. Yahweh Bashim Yahsha is not playing. You know. <laughs> oh boy. Well, you know, I'm really at this point I'm not gonna share that vision. It, it was awful. But you know, hey, the, the, you know, the, there's a famine coming, man. There's a famine coming and we gotta be prepared for this. You know. You know, first and foremost, you know, it's the it's the bread of the it's the bread of the word. It's his breath that's you know, that's gonna keep us in those days, but <clears throat> Without further ado, let's get into it right here. Oh boy, scary times, man. You know, but he said, you know, don't be afraid, my servant shall eat. Ezekiel 7 and verse 14. They have blown the trumpet even to make all ready, but none goeth to the battle, for my wrath is upon all the multitude thereof. Okay? <clears throat> verse 15. The sword is without. And the pestilence and the famine within. <laughs> he that is in the field shall die by the sword. And he and he that is in the city, famine and pestilence shall devour him. Okay? And if he hey look, if you're not afraid of Yahabashim Yahsha, you know, because that's the beginning of wisdom. If you don't have fear, and that's a healthy fear, uh, it's gonna be trouble, man. It's gonna be trouble, you know. It's going to be trouble. As a matter of fact, it, this was sort of spiritual here. You know, this popped up on my feed here and I was like, what is this? So I decided to, you know, go into it and watch it just a little bit. And lo and behold, it's going into the same thing that I'm talking about right now. So let's play and just the a liquidation bit of, it. of beef cow herds. <clears throat> While a bird flu pandemic is resulting in the deep population of millions of chickens, food supplies are said to get even tighter. And when people start realizing that massive shortages are emerging everywhere, it's safe to say that things are going to get a lot crazier. See that? When even the United Nations starts using the word biblical to describe the famine that the world is facing, that is a sign that the hour is very late right now <laughs> yeah yeah when that popped up i said man you know <laughs> yeah how about shim yasha i said hey go ahead and get the lesson and just go ahead and do it you know and that also reminds me of you know i'm sure you brothers uh remember you know all those uh uh all the cattle mysteriously you know just, uh, just uh what was it, hundreds of thousands of them you know the cattle again with you know and the the birds you know, all the uh, thousands and thousands and thousands, even millions of uh, of chickens. All right. You know, and they also produce eggs, you know, cows, cows with milk. So, I mean, and it, it's coming, man. It's coming. You know, hey, why you think why you think that damn devil bought up all that farmland? All right. Yeah. How about you? shot is not playing. So let's go here. This will bring a, <laughs> maybe bring a little bit of comfort, you know. A little bit of comfort, man. But, you know, in those days, we may have to go two or three days without eating. You know, hey, you still, we just got to keep our noses in the book and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahusha. Second Ezra 16 and verse 21. Um, oh, boy. Yeah, let's go back. It's Lachia. Oh, wow. Yeah, let's go back to 18. Uh, second Ezra 16 and verse 18. The beginning of sorrows. And great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, you see, and great death. And that's got to be a, 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 you know, real, it's like you, I got the hiccups a little bit there. Wow. A real bad way to go out, man. You know, with your body eating itself, <laughs> that's got to be a real bad way to go out. Oh boy. Let's read it from the top again. Second Ezra 16 verse 18, the beginning of sorrows. And the great mornings, the beginning of famine and great death, the beginning of wars and the powers shall be shall stand uh, in fear. You see that? <laughs> and that's beginning to happen too. these prophecies, man. The beginning of evils. What shall I do when these evils shall come? 
All right. That's why the scripture said in Isaiah uh, 33, verse six, knowledge and wisdom shall be the stability of thy time. You see, you know, verse 19, behold, famine and plague, tribulation and anguish are sent as, scour as scourges for an amendment. Wow. All right. Verse 20. But for all these things, they shall not turn from their wickedness. You see, nor be always mindful of the scourges. Verse 21, behold, victuals, you know, which is a uh, uh, foods, all right, shall be so good, cheap upon the earth. And really, you know, that's, uh, and, and, you know, in this day and age, as they would say, you know, that's the thing of the past, man. That's the thing of the past. You know, it, you used to be able to go get, uh, uh, I mean, it's, everything's just, it's, it's going sky high, man. It's going sky high, you know. What was it? Well, what did we get the other day? We got something and it was it was like twice as expensive as it was, you know, just a couple months ago. All right. So this is happening, man. Let's read this again. Verse 21. Behold, victuals shall be uh, so good cheap upon the earth and they shall think themselves to be in good case. And even then shall evils grow upon the earth. Sword, famine and great confusion. You see that? Sword, famine, and great confusion. Verse 22, for, for many of them shall uh, that dwell upon the earth shall perish of famine. Oh, boy. And the other that escape the hunger shall the sword destroy, man. So, again, how about Shemiah Shah? It's not playing. It's not. He's not. He's not playing. You know, let's go. I'll look this up right here. Let's go down. Let's go all the way down to the bottom. And let's get this right here. What uh, let's see what happens if you don't eat for a week, okay? So I looked this up. See, look, it's the what was that loyal member only price three ninety nine for a uh, split chicken breast, man. That's crazy, man. That's expensive. All right. Anyway, most people have heard that it's not a good idea to go for long periods of time without eating. But do you know what happens if you don't eat for a week? Let's go on down and see what this says. All right. If you don't eat for a week, you will experience hunger, pa uh, uh, hunger pangs. Okay. Weakness and possible fainting. All right. Your body will also start to break down muscle tissue. See, it is it eat itself, man. For energy. Uh, uh, yeah. For energy after two weeks. All right. I didn't think you'd go that long. Anyway, uh, you likely experience more serious health problems, including muscle weight, uh, wasting, uh, irregular heartbeat. Whew. Ooh, boy. I know how that is. That, that's, that's not a good feeling. It, just, it isn't. All right. And a mental, and a mental confusion, long-term starvation can lead to permanent organ damage and death. You know, and the scripture, what the scripture just say? Some, uh, the ones who, is, uh, who escape, uh, 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 how'd it go? I'll read it back here. But the ones who escape the famine are gonna die by the sword, man. Oh, boy. And if <clears throat> Salakia, and if you were asked, uh, if you to ask most people what the consequences of not eating for a week would be, they would uh, likely tell you that you would die. Wow. However, this is not the case. I actually thought you couldn't go. Uh, what was it, seven days? Something like that. Anyway, you know, hey, uh, maybe I was wrong. Anyway, anyhow, uh, however, this is not the case. In fact, you don't uh, you don't eat for a week your body will actually go into starvation mode and start to consume your own tissues yeah it'll start eating itself man your body will start eating its own tissues man you know burn all the fat first eating its own muscles you know all right starvation mode will start to consume your own tissue in order to survive surprisingly not eating for a week is not, uh is not as dangerous as many people think it is well, i don't want to try it you know but, you know, if it, if uh, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh has it that way, he has it that way. Okay? But he said, my servants shall eat, man. Whoo, so call hello, hey, throw water to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. You know, in those days, you know, Yahweh Rat Nazam a part of that number. And be able to escape all these things that are coming upon the earth. The scripture said, the scripture said, the righteous shall scarcely be saved. Scarcely. 
All right. In this blog, we will discuss what happens if you don't eat for a week. Um, offer some tips. Yeah, 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 blah, blah, blah. How long can you live without food? Depending on a variety of factors. Okay, so yeah, your age, uh, health, and activity level, you know. So, you know, a lot of those things are going to depend, you know, again, on your age, your health, your activity level, all that, man. You know, you know, I'm not getting any younger. I can tell you that. <laughs> I'm getting more gray. And my, you know, and my hair is running away from my forehead, man. I'm just, <laughs> just being honest. All right, so let's go back to the scripture. Oh, let's go to Ezekiel five verse twelve. Let's see, Salakia is. Uh, I think there's more I wanted out of that. Um, no, verse twelve. All right, a third part of thee shall die with the with the pestilence. You see that with the pestilence. All right. Hey, hey you, you know what they're saying? Uh, the, uh, what did uh, Bill Gates of hell? What did he say? Oh, uh, the second one's going to get their attention. He, he said that. All right. The second one's going to get their attention. Now, I didn't say nothing about nothing. So don't got all up in your feelings, YouTube. All right. A third part of the city shall die with, with the pestilence and with famine shall they be consumed in the midst of thee. And the third part shall fall by the sword round about thee. See, and I was, uh, and I will scatter a third part into all the winds. And I will draw out uh, a sword after them, man. Whew. That's heavy. That that I mean, that's heavy. You know. So yeah, we get we. we this is a again. Uh, you know, we we have to be comforted and to know you. How about some y'all shots got our back, man? The just shall live by faith. You know, we are creatures of hope. All right, verse 13, thus shall my anger be accomplished and I will cause my fury to rest upon them and I will be comforted and they shall know that I, that I, the Lord, have spoken it in my zeal and when I have accomplished my fury in them. Woo, <laughs> that's heavy, man. That's heavy. All right. So, you know, hey, so when you see when you see and you hear the prophets, man. You know, as it says, and I think it was it's Isaiah 30, verse 20. I may be wrong. Please correct me if I am. Where it says, your eyes shall see thy teachers, man. It's going to come a time when there's going to be a, a famine of the word. You know, the scripture said we have piped to know and you didn't dance. You see, this is Hosea 12 and verse 10. I have also spoken by the prophets and I have multiplied, uh, multiplied visions and use similitudes, man. Visions. I, I had a vision just, you know. Not 10, 15 minutes ago, man. All right. By the ministry of the prophets, right? You see? By the ministry of the prophets, man. He's, it's right in front of everybody's eyes, but you don't want to listen. You just, you want to keep on going like in the days of Noah. You know, they were eating and drinking and being merry. Didn't the scripture say the visuals would be so cheap that they think themselves to be in good case? Okay. He's not playing. You better turn back and repent. All ye that have ears to hear, repent and come back to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. All right? Come back. Let's go here. Matthew 7 and verse 20. Wherefore, this is red letters now. Wherefore, by their fruits, ye shall know them, man. Okay? Ye shall know them by their fruits. You can't fake it. You can't fake steak. You know? And here, no, no pun intended. You know? Talking about famine. All right. Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of the mo of heaven. But he that doeth the will of my father, which is in heaven. You see that? Doeth the will. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name? And in thy name, have we not cast out devils? And in thy name done many wonderful works? Verse 23, and then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. Depart from me, ye that work iniquity, man. That's very heavy. You don't want to be that. You, you, uh, you, uh, come on, man. You don't want to be that person where he says, depart from me, ye worker of iniquity. I never knew you. You don't want to be that. Okay? And this is what we're laboring for. You know, the scripture says, seek ye out your own salvation with fear and trembling. And to get the true understanding of this book and teach them so. You see? Oh boy. Verse 23. And then I'm uh, Salakia. Verse 24. Therefore, 
Whosoever heareth these sayings of mine and doeth them, I will liken him unto a wise man which built his house upon a rock. We all know Yahweh Shah is that chief cornerstone, man. You know, he said, I'm the way, the truth, and the knife. life. It's like you. I said, knife. He going to have a two-edged sword. What, what, what a crocodile done, D say? That ain't no knife. <laughs> you know, that ain't no knife. This is a knife. All right. And let's stay, let's stay with the lesson here. Salakia. So I don't want to deviate. I don't want to deviate. This is Job 27 and verse 9. Will the most high hear his cry when trouble cometh upon him, man? And, and it's it, uh, Jacob's trouble. All right. It, it's also you all you in a whole lot of trouble when you don't have no food, neither. You know, water. And all these things are happening. And it's going to get worse. Put all your strength and your trust in your how about Shimmy Yahweh Shai, man. You know, he will give you the increase. Verse 10, will he delight himself in the Almighty? Will he always call upon the Most High? I will teach you by the hand of the Most High. All right? And my phone chimed on that one. You see? Mm -hmm. I will teach you by the hand of the Most High. That, uh, that which is with the Almighty will I not conceal. Okay? Um, let's see. Yep, that's, that's what I wanted to get out of that. All right? We piped, man. We piped. Listen up. Listen up, family. Listen up now. This is John 6 and verse 35. Uh, let me see if I want to go back to Lockia. Oh, boy. <laughs> Please excuse me. Uh, yeah, let's just, let's just do this. John 6 and verse 35. And Hamashiach, Yehoshai, said unto them, I am the bread of life. You see? You see? Stay occupied in prophecies, man. Always pray without ceasing. Always. Always have that healthy fear of Yehoshim, Yehoshai. You know? And, it, and the true name and the true power of Yehoshim, Yehoshai, man. I am the bread of life. He that cometh to me shall never Hunger and see this is a different it's a different kind of hunger man. The scripture talks about our people got zeal but not according to knowledge You know and how are you supposed to attain that knowledge unless some man teach you All right coming to me uh, shall never hunger and he that believeth on me shall never thirst You see shall never thirst man And again, that's uh, that's a uh, you know that that ties in that precepts along with uh, uh, the famine of the word but I say unto you that ye also have seen me and believe not. All the Father giveth, uh, Salakia, all the Father giveth me shall come to me. And him that cometh to me, I will in no wise cast out, man. See, repent before it's too late. Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. For I came down from heaven not to do my own will, but to do the will of him that sent me, man. That's absolutely beautiful. Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, Barakatai Yahweh, Barakatai Yahweh Shai, call her long, Yumila, Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, man. All right? All praise, honor, and glory do. All right? To Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? Isaiah 65, verse 11. But ye are they that forsake the Lord Yahweh, that forget my holy mountain, that prepare a table for a troop, hmm, and that furnish the drink offering unto that number. You see? All right? You put Yahweh Bashem Yahshua far behind you. Therefore will I number you to the sword, and ye shall all uh, bow, uh, bow, Salakia, bow down to the slaughter. Because when I called, ye did not answer. And when I spake, uh, spoke, spake, uh, read it right now. And when I spake, ye do not hear. All right? Did not hear. Uh, but did evil before my eyes. And did choose that wherein I delight not. You see? All the time, man. Jake always trying to do something else. Always trying to get into something else and do this and do that. You know, you, you even got uh, 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 Eve leaving, uh, the Christ, leaving Christianity and going into witchcraft, man. Okay? You know, and then you got the males. You, uh, you, you got, uh, 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 you know, you got the, uh, the man. They just leave the church and just uh, just go just be a nigga, man. You know, <laughs> unbelievable. But it is what it is. Everybody's in their lot. Verse thirteen. Therefore, thus saith the Lord, 
our power. Behold, my servants shall eat, but ye shall be hungry. Behold, my servants shall drink, but ye, but ye shall be thirsty. Behold, my servants shall rejoice, but ye be ashamed. You see? Rejoice, but ye be ashamed. You know, and all we ask for and we, we ask for and pray is what is convenient for us, our daily bread. Okay? It is what it is, man. It's Shahab Hashem Yashah that gives the increase. All right? Behold, my servants shall sing for joy of heart, but ye shall cry for sorrow of heart and shall howl for vexation of spirit. And ye shall leave your name for a curse unto my chosen. Woo. For the Lord, our power, Yahweh, shall slay thee and call his servants by another name. All right. That's some heavy stuff right there, man. Ooh, that's heavy. That's heavy. I got a couple more and I'll close out. Revelation 18 and verse 8. Therefore shall her plagues. Whose plagues? Babylon. This place is finished, man. It's lucky. Let's go back. Yahweh Hashem Yahshua is going to kill a lot of people. He said the mountains shall be covered in blood. You, we're going to have to be walking over corpses. You see that? The stink is going to come up, man. Let's read this right here. Oh, man. See, I got to go all the way back right there. I got to get all that meat. Oh, yeah. It's more than just the famine coming. The death and the sword. We, didn't we read it? Revelation 18 verse 2. And he cried mightily. With a strong voice saying, Babylon, the great is fallen, is fallen, and has become the habitation of devils and the hold of every foul spirit and cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Verse three, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication. See? And the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her. And the merchants of earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies, man. Okay, but you see, you see, the vituals, they were so cheap, but not anymore. Now you got to, now you got to do this. You got to do that. You know what the scripture said, my servant shall eat. You know, there's all kinds of things you got to do here in Babylon just to, just to uh, wiggle around like a damn worm. You know? Okay. Verse four. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. Okay. Again, the just shall live by faith. Verse five, for her sins have reached up uh, unto heaven and the most high have remembered her iniquities. You think he forgot all the things that you people have done upon this earth to his children? Hmm? To the apple of his eye, his silver and his gold, his, his good, a good and greatly and pleasant things. You really think you're going to get away with all this rape, robbing, murder and, and all the uh, atrocities that you've done to his children? You got another thing coming, Jack. You got another thing coming. All right. Just because of his pride go to Obadiah, read Obadiah. You know, I'm, uh, you know, I'm speaking of uh, all the nations, but, uh, you know, mainly that uh, that uh, that chief uh, devil, the damn devil. Esau saw Edom. OK. All right. You ain't going to get away with nothing. Mm hmm. Verse seven, Salakia. Uh, verse seven, how much she have glorified herself and lived deliciously. So much torment and sorrow give her for she saith in her heart. I sit as a queen and I am no widow and shall see no sorrow. Therefore, shall her plagues come in one day, death and mourning and famine and she shall be utterly burned with fire, for strong is the Lord Yahweh by Hashem Yahashai, the, the Lord Yahweh, okay? All right, by Hashem yeah. Both, both, all right, who judges, judges her, okay? So this place is going to be, it's going to be burned up, but before that, it's going to be all kinds of stuff happening, man. Third woe, M-O-T, to the B. See, all these things are coming upon this earth. And, the, and there, the, there the prophets are, they told you. They told you, but you didn't dance. Your eyes saw your teachers, but you didn't believe. Matthew 4, verse 4. But he answered and said, It is written, man shall not live by bread alone, 
but by every word that proceedeth out of the mouth of the Most High. You see? There. There's where there's where the, everything lies, man. The Rakakwadash, the uh, the word. He said he is the word. You see? All right. So I'll close out right there. Giving all praise, honor, and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shai Bahashem, Rakakwadash. Mm -hmm. Double honors to the elders and apostles. A great millstone. I said elders, elders. I said like a little child. <laughs> to the elders and the apostles. <laughs> oh man, uh, the apostles and elders, Salaki. I said that backwards. Of great millstone. All right, healthy shalom to the brothers that are out there doing the work in truth and sincerity. A famine is coming. A famine is coming. Okay. All right. So I want to say, hey, DTA and Kwame Yasharala, wa a Bible ball. Boom. Shalom.